Oh, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 29th of November 2016. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at the numbers this morning. Asian markets overnight mixed. You had the Nikkei down 0.2%. Uh, you have the Shanghai more or less flat and the Hang Seng negative and therefore exerting pressure on the downside, i.e. a risk off tone. We all, we already have concerns with regards to Italy, Okay, although the banks are uh, bouncing this morning. Nevertheless, the uh, the bias certainly is bearish given the political uncertainty in France as well. And obviously US markets under pressure too. We had a, a potential uh, a fraud allegation or a, a fraud um, case put forward against Tyrannos. So again, looking for a potential top in biotechs and semicons and obviously the, inadvertently the Nasdaq as well. Okay, in terms of economic data this morning, we have had some positive um, highlights. Now, inflation in Germany, import, uh, imported prices down negative 0.1%, but better than the last 0.8% negative. We had uh, import prices on a month-on-month -month basis uh, up 0.3%. Forecast was 07 so again, um, euro certainly under slight pressure, currently below that 1.06 handle, okay? And again, the euro really is going to be uh, subject to movements in the uh, French and Italian uh, potential political uh, circumstances. Now, in terms of uh, GDP from France, more or less in line, okay, month on month, year on year, and consumer spending actually came in stronger than expected. So that's what giving France a potential bump as well. I did expect the uh, concerns over Italy and France to uh, keep the euro stocks at bay, and we certainly are. Certainly currently on my trade at present, I'm currently minus 18 on my trade, so currently still short stop loss at around 3046 and we'll see how that plays out the FTSE 100 remains bearish given the uh, concerns over OPEC okay yesterday no no agreement was reached okay uh, they are now potentially uh, scrambling desperately to come to some sort of agreement but it certainly seems no there's no light at the end of the tunnel especially with the Russians not on board as well now okay so again there's going to be statements counter statements rumors etc etc and so far nothing okay in terms of uk we've had mortgage data coming strong and st coming in stronger okay potential credit uh, conditions certainly improving and uh, mortgage approval certainly higher as well so that does uh, help the FTSE to a large extent but again like i said it does remain um held or should certainly held ransom by uh, opec at present now, obviously we have italian concerns as well okay now let's look at the actual technical picture now let's bring up the german dax why because we have had a uh, an impressive thrust this morning so let's go to the daily chart as always first look at the bird's eye view okay daily chart we go to the 60 minute chart now we're still below the uh, hns neckline so buy still remains bearish okay folks buy still remains bearish on the german dax you're still making lower lows lower highs and that hns target of 10 30 certainly does remain uh, intact so again watch out for that potential uh, zone we have had an impressive thrust higher this morning uh, it looks like we've certainly held that support below at the uh, 10 550 zone okay in terms of german dax resistance now these are your key resistance zones so 10 10 630 10 620 watch out for those zones you do have an unfilled gap above at 10 700 but there is no catalyst for that to close at present okay so again you are going to look at resistance at this juncture okay in terms of the uh, french cac let's bring up the french cac again it has been, been helped by stronger consumer spending but we are now into gap fill resistance okay so given the fact that we're into gap fill resistance you are looking for a, a risk off move here at this juncture okay uh, impressive move from the 4495 very very impressive move could could uh, nice thrust higher but now looking at resistance now we're still below the hns neckline so um, the um, the actual hns still remains intact okay uh, we do need a, a a flush here now to get to the potential target of 10430 okay so bear that in mind looking at the FTSE 100 now quickly okay let's look at the daily chart again FTSE remains uh, suppressed due to one aberdeen asset management certainly negative today uh, weighing on the FTSE we have opec concerns as well weighing on the FTSE okay and it's just ever since the failed budget the FTSE certainly has been weak okay 60 minute chart moving on to the 60 minute chart now we do have multiple areas of support zones of support at 6760 now then 6750 then we have 6740 and then ultimately is 6715 so it'll be interesting to see how we play out now our present on the 60 minute chart it clearly sees as a bear flag okay so how how much of that bear flag plays out again it will be dictated by opec if all of a sudden we get last minute last minute deal or some sort of agreement given the fact that the vienna uh, debate still continues we could short squeeze so again the market is held ransom by opec okay it really is it's it's 
it's not about technicals it's not even about fundamentals to a large extent now it's all about the uh, the actual vienna accord so uh, again you have horizontal support at 6760 that's holding thus far if that fails 6750 if the market does actually start to rip higher again like i said anything can happen as a trader you need to be uh, aware that anything can happen okay you can't have a preconceived or de marry a certain or shall we say hold on to one potential opinion uh, the market is flexible and you should be flexible too so again the FTSE is flushing yet uh, at present my bias does remain bearish given the Nasdaq is bearish and the S&P bearish so again uh, it'll depend on the uh, the actual OPEC meeting uh, although European markets have st staged recovery very impressively so we'll see whether or not that can continue okay so FTSE itself still lower lows lower highs okay we'll test we'll be tested at 6760 whether we can make, continue to make a new low Okay, folks, on that note, I think that's a good summation of where, where we stand. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.